up guys welcome back to another box opening here on the big bass theory got my lady here with me today gonna open up a monster bass this is the southern regional pro lunker hunt edition before you get started i already know i'm late everybody's already seen what's in this everybody's already fished within this i am sorry i was on the fence about buying it and then i bought it so Let's get into this box, guys. Let's see what uh, goodies we got. Spoiler alert, I already know what's in here because everybody else already opened one. So, let's see what's in the box. All right, guys, let's get into it here. Um, got your monster bath paper. I'm gonna yeet that out of the way. Got one sticker here. The Monster Bass American flag. And I thought it came with two stickers. It does. Lunker Hunt sticker as well. So always good to add stickers to the collection of other stickers. So the Lunker Hunt one. I don't know if you want to cover up the Guggen. So here's our sticker so far, all MT MTB except the Guggen Squad, which we got in a Mondo kit. And then now she's got to find a place for two more. So she's already ready. We're going to slap a couple stickers on there. Let her get those on there. All right, guys, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. Some Daiichi hooks. These are actually really good hooks. I used them from the mystery tackle box opening I did for July and they're actually really good hooks these are a little bit different these are a smaller and a medium worm hook so it's just a straight shank hook so it comes with three hooks the other one only came with two and MTB so step your game up so that is the smaller of the three there's a medium worm hook which we'll definitely be able to use. And then I love red hooks. I don't ever have any though. So this one will definitely be getting used. All this stuff is going to be featured in a video tomorrow morning. Probably going to go try to do a, in a monster bass slam. We'll see how it goes. And see if we can't get into it. I just remembered. You didn't tell me? I decided to go fishing. Didn't tell boss lady. So. I'm not even my stickers now. We're just going to pretend like we told her. And. Let's show the ladies and gentlemen. This is her box guys. Um, this is her bigger one. This looks like it's got most of the stuff she likes using. These we got a Bass Pro Shop. You can get them in different colors. I have a green one. Um, they have blue, orange, pink. So. We'll do a video as well um, of her tackle box review, just what she uses. So if you're trying to get your lady out on the water with you, don't know what really to get her. I have a pretty box. She has a pretty box. Step one. Step two, she knows how to fish like a girl. So it's not a bad thing. <coughs> Alright guys, let's get into this box some more. So first up is the... Lunker Hunt Bully Blade. Looks like a little chatterbait style bait, but it's a little different. You're not supposed to eat that. Yeet. Okay, I'm sorry, I won't eat it no more. So, here is the Bully Blade. So, it's got a swivel. Looks like it's got... 360 range you can go wherever you need it to I really like the clamp that they put on it and then the the head what separates it from a normal chatterbait is normally this blade is not attached to the head um, instead this little swivel goes through it and attaches to the head through the blade so the blade is free to move back and forth so I'm curious to see I'm, I'm assuming the head is just going to wiggle back and forth and get some good action 
which will add action to the trailer that we're going to use. So let's see if we have anything in the box that we can pair up with this. If not, I don't think I have a color that I want to pair with it. So let's hope there's something in here. These, we'll just get these out of the way, are the Lunker Hunt Bento. This is the Bento bait. Um, just a three inch emerald shiner bento bait. So just a little, sorry about the glare. Just a little swimmer here. Let me break this open. Oh, they're all falling out on me. So this is it here, guys. Super, super tiny. Um, really, really light, but it's got the eyes on there. The eyes just appear to be stickers, so nothing really special there. I'm not 100% sure how to even fish with these things, guys. If you know how to fish with something this small, drop me a comment below. Hopefully, I can get that comment tonight and know what to do with this thing in the morning. Otherwise, I may just throw it on a Ned rig and let it flop around like that and see if I can't get bit. Who knows? Maybe that's thinking outside of the box. Literally outside of the box. Next up, these might be perfect for that black and blue chatterbait. This is the Descend Series, the Lunker Hunt Minnow. So, it's like a uh, charcoal color. Salted core. So it's got an internal salt chamber right up in its head here. So it's got a natural swimming action and it shows you even how to hook it up. <coughs> so very interesting way of hooking it up on here, but I guess that's right. It just looks weird in the picture. But there it is, so it's black. That should pair up nicely with the black and blue chatterbait. So hopefully I can get out early enough to where the black and blue is fire tomorrow, but we'll see what time I actually wake up. <coughs> Probably earlier than that, yeah. Oh, I, one thing I forgot to mention is these things do come with two 4 aught EWG hooks. So doesn't say a brand or anything on those hooks, but I mean, to me, hook, what are you doing? What is she doing? Would you kiss me if I had fish lips? I would kiss you if you had fish lips. Look, what? See? Did it smell weird? It did smell weird. It did smell a little weird. All right, let's just get the soft plastics out of the way. And we got the Lunker Sticks, Lunker Sticks from Lunker Hunt as well. I don't know why I keep saying from Lunker Hunt. Everything in those boxes from Lunker Hunt. <coughs> so. That's it. It's just a, a five and a half inch Cinco Worm. I would really like to know the color on these. I'm going to have to look on their website because there's nothing on the package that says usually they'll have like a sticker with the uh, barcode or something and there's nothing here. But that is the Lunker, Lunker stick. Uh, Cinco bait really cool watermelon green with some flake in there. This thing is gonna be hot um, in some of the ponds that we fish and here's those hooks that came with the What are those things called again? Minnows the lunker hunt minnows So not a bad hook compared to a five and a half inch worm 
there you go that's pretty good hookup so super 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 excited to use these worms we'll definitely get something on these for sure and they have a ton of sparkle so ton of like, lunker hunt loaded it up with the flake on that one <laughs> all right guys let's get into the good stuff the reason we all bought the box well this is not that reason yet but here is the lunker hunt popping frog it says pop right there pop pop so real life action on it as you can see here that's the standing position when you pop it it's going to extend those legs out it's only a quarter ounce so extremely light but that's really small too I mean that's like she has small hands and this thing's like a little baby frog so super little tiny baby frog it is Two inches what do they say it is 1.75 inches so it's definitely different quality plastic on these um, it doesn't really feel like your normal plastic frogs would so super light we'll see if we can't get the hookup where we're going has a lot of stuff on top of the water so hopping this thing along it is going to be fire so is that how it came oh, oh. sorry that's okay okay so i can't make both his legs look like they're gunmen <laughs> can we get back to the box okay you can just continue playing with it this one is pretty awesome bait. If I don't catch a fish on this, I don't know why I'm thinking. So, we are definitely probably going to end up buying a lot more of these. But this is the Yappa series. So, if you don't know, Lunker Hunt has the Yappa series. This is the Yappa Bug. And it comes with something that was also in here, but... Um, a Yappa rat as well. So, this is the Yappa bug. Uh, it's like fire tiger type color. What do they call it? Firefly. So, it's just like a big grasshopper fly roach looking thing. Um, so, definitely going to get some bites. Has the two. It's like the joined, I guess you can call them EWG hooks, but they're, they're not EWG at all. So, it's got the joined hooks, just like it, your normal frog would. It's all soft plastic, so even the front of it. And this, as you pop it, is just going to give, you know, huge water disbursement. This thing's going to be going crazy, and hopefully the fish go crazy for it. Get back in there. And this is the reason we all bought the box. And you can tell because they put more into this packaging than they did with anything else. So, of course, we're talking about the Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider. It was a 2019 iCast Best Soft Lure winner. So, it's definitely different. This is a 2-inch quarter ounce spider and it looks like a real freaking spider the thing I love the most is just the action on those legs getting this thing just sitting on top of water and those legs just kind of moving with the water this thing is gonna get lit up I wouldn't be surprised if it's missing some legs after tomorrow because we are Hammering this thing tomorrow morning for sure. 
when I say we, I mean me because she's got to go to work and I don't have to be at work till 11. So definitely getting on the spider. What I was talking about with the packaging is one, it has like a little border that goes around the whole packaging, but it's got spider webs up under the Lunker Hunt. Um, it's got fancy text. None of the other ones really had anything like that. So, and then the back of it is all a spider web. So this is Lunker Hunt's bread and butter, obviously. Um, I've seen it in stores. I think Bass Pro Shop here carries them. So we are definitely uh, gonna enjoy using this. That's if I can stop using it long enough for her to stop start using it. <coughs> but. Or he won't touch anything and get mad at him. Or that won't happen. But it might. So let's take a look. Um, at the monster tackle box box itself, which I really like. So let me bring y'all in closer for this one. So here we got your monster bass. Here, let me just let me flip y'all around here. So here we got the uh, spring, summer fall and winter you got your measuring tape it shows you what bait to use so let's look at summer since we're in the summer so water temperature spawning season for bluegill shad and bream brim however you want to say that um during shad spawn lures that mimic this you know shad that's in the area uh during sunfish spawn um anything obviously that mimics that and then mid to late summer lures that mimics the size and shape and color of the shad in the local lakes. So we're going to be doing a lot of top water tomorrow, a lot of worm fishing. Then we're going to be moving into the fall. Is I was just reading the side there. Um, they have like a little punch card style thing. So that's interesting. Um... So there's that as well, but they got monster bass. You can, you know, put your personal best um, in here, and that gives you a goal to aim for while using all the stuff that's in the box. So definitely uh, put some time and thought into the product, and kind of gave the customers what they what they need, what they don't know they want, but they need. So I love the box. Um, so going through everything real quick, we had the spider. This is the Huntsman color, uh, spider. So it's just like a gray Brown. We had the croaker color popping frog. We had the bully blade, the black and blue bully blade color is dark Knight. Batman, little Batman crankbait, chatterbait. Then you got the Lunker Hunt minnows that will pair hopefully pretty nicely with that. These little bento baits, I have no idea what I'm going to do with yet. Nothing, useless. I wouldn't say they're useless. We might be able to find something. Nothing like We haven't tried Lunker Hunt. They hunt for Lunkers. Can't argue that logic. Lunker Hunt, Lunker Sticks, little Cinco style baits. I don't know how they get the stuff back in the box or how they get the stuff in the box, period. And then your Daiichi EWG hooks. Oh, and this one fell on the floor. The Yappa Bug. So we'll be taking this box out tomorrow morning, guys. Definitely going to be getting on some top water and seeing what we can and can't do with some of those baits. So, not a bad box uh, for my first Monster Bass box. It definitely wasn't bad, and uh, I'm looking forward to using it. So, shout out to Monster Bass, great box. All right, guys, if you liked what was in the box, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, drop me a comment, let me know what your favorite bait is, let me know what bait out of here 
you're doing the best with if you've already gotten the box. If you haven't gotten the box, I can't say this enough. Well, it's too late. Uh, you can't jump on it anymore because it's not July. But be on the lookout for Monster Bass Takeovers. I think they're the only box company doing it, and they are fantastic. So let me know how you would fish that bento bait as well because I have no idea what I'm doing with that thing. So hopefully we'll figure it out. We'll get on something. But guys, like I said, like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the water.